Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Nintendo Plays, and welcome back to our Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green version. Last time we took on the first two Elite Four members, being Lorelil, the Ice-type Master, and Bruno, the Fighting Warrior. This time we're going to be continuing on pressing on. I healed up outside of the back last video, so you guys didn't have to watch that. And we're leaving off with Scoops. I am Agatha of the Elite Four. I hear Oaks taking a lot of interest in you, child. That old dove was once tough and handsome, but that was decades ago. He's a shadow of his former self. Now he just sits and wants to fiddle with her Pokédex. Help, not has and fire I have dementia. He's wrong. Pokémon are for battling. Red. I'll show you how a real trainer battles. You're just an old lady that's telling me, hey, Oak was handsome. Elite Four Agatha would like to battle. Gengar. She uses a ghost types, so that's why I let her scoops, because, well, scoops is really the only one that can deal with them. But the downfall is... They have all ghost type attacks, like Shadow Ball. Oh my god. She also has two Gengars, by the way. And a hunter. And an Arbok. I think. And a gold bat. Not the funny thing is, I think we can just sweep with uh, scoops. That should not not kill. You have bite. You have confuse ray. Interesting. Interesting. She's getting desperate. She already used it in full restore. I believe the Elite Four all have four? Wait, what's... No, we're not using that just yet. Maybe we can get a confusion off with uh, our side beam. Golbat does have bite. Okay, that did nothing. And hits yourself. We're good. I'm gonna switch out here. Um, it's Atkins. Why is it Haunter? I mean Arbok. Okay, it's Arbok, so I'm gonna switch out to get rid of that confusion, so we don't have to deal with it. And go into Dig Dug, and just use Earthquake, and that should hopefully one shot the Arbok. Oh, that will rare attack. Shoot. That that shouldn't matter. Yeah, uh, I think we can take this Arbok out repeatedly. Okay. That's fine. Iron Tail? Really? Okay, that can cause flinching, but yeah. I think we took out the Arbok here. Which is good. That's good. Yeah, we did. Okay, good. We're doing good. Next, we have a Haunter and a Gengar. Dig Dug is now level 50. And last resort, I guess, for this team is if, Scoop, if Scoops goes out during this fight, um, go to uh, Kabudu because it's normal type and ghost type can't hit uh, hit us. So like Dream Eater. I know they have Dream Eater. I'm hoping Psybeam KOs here. It's just a Haunter. It might. Okay, it did. Uh, we might be faster than Gengar here. I have no idea because I believe it's like a level 58 Gengar, 57 Gengar. 58 Gengar. Okay. Um, well, there goes Scoops. This one might be close, but I think Kabudu can take this one. It's going to try and use Dream Eater. That's why it has Hypnosis, so it can put you to sleep. Um, I don't think we have to worry about that. Sludge Bomb. That one kind of that does a lot of damage. No. Okay, well, not freaking here. Um, it has a citrus berry. Let's keep that in mind. And it should go back to yellow. And we should be able to take it out with us with a drill pack. And that should be the battle. If, come on. We gotta get a high hit thing here. Yeah, that's it. Let's go. That was a good one. That was very simple. Oh my, you're something else. 
You win. I see what the old duff sees in you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. <laughs> I think it's like a mix of... I don't know. This is not loud sound. But we gotta revive scoops and... We have some more candies, and we are going to have to use them on one person in particular. But no, no, I'm not talking about Scoops or Nigel, even though Nigel's only level 41. Nigel, you kind of slacking. Now that everyone's healed, we're going to use them on our first Pokemon we ever caught. Iron. And there's a reason for this, but I can't say it just yet. I'm spoiling the surprise of the video. Brian is now level 53. And because of that, Brian is actually going to be at the start of the party. You'll figure out why. We have one more Elite Four member ahead of us. And then we come to Pokemon League Champion. Ha! Huh, I've heard about you. You're red. I led the Elite Four. You can call me Lance, the Dragon Trainer. You know that dragons are mythical Pokemon? No, they're just normal Pokemon, buddy. Mythical Pokemon are like Pokemon like Mew. I mean, what's a Mew? They're hard to catch and raise, but their powers are superior. They're vir virtually indestructible. There's no being clever with them. Well, are you ready to lose? Your league challenge ends with me, Red. Yeah, as you said, this is this is the le last Elite Four member, Lance. I forgot he has a Gyarados. This actually sort of helps out in our favor. He's probably going to set up with Dragon Dance. I believe Dragon Dance is in this gen. I could be wrong. Just a bite. That won't do too much damage. And we can outspeed it and kill it one shot because it is water flying type, which is four times weak to electric. So I believe that is out for the Gyarados. Yes. Let's go. Pikachu and Eevee. Uh. <laughs> Alright. Dragonair. So we haven't fought a whole lot of Dragon types in this playthrough, which, yeah, Dragon types are pretty rare, especially in first gen, because there's only three Dragon types. Dratini, Dragonair, and Dragonite. Ice is super effective against Dragon types, which is why we have Blizzard, but it's going to miss because Blizzard is super. All right. Hopefully, I'm hoping this kills. It should. Dragonair is kind of, they're not the tankiest. It didn't kill. Um, how, oh, that's, that's a strong Dragon type attack, except it comes from Dragonair. Um... Okay, that's it for the dragon that dragon here. Which is good. Um another dragon here. I'm wondering if we can use someone else to take out this dragon here. We should be able to. I am gonna need one more of those psychics left. Okay. Thunder wave paralysis me. Let's use a metronome. I don't have a whole lot to lose during this battle. What do we get? Although it is stuck in outrage now, so this is actually work might work in our favor a little bit more. I think Kabudu can take it out. Kabudu, you've been, like, champ throughout this playthrough. Yeah, you got the speed. And... Yes, Kabudu coming in a clutch. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what Kabudu is all about. Aerodactyl. I'm gonna go into Chew because it's rock flying type. Um, I just use... Do I Shockwave on the new still? Don't, but we still have some ancient power. Uh, this might do some damage. Okay, not too bad. I hope we can get the paralysis off. Uh... Oh 
Oh my god. We did. That's what this is. <laughs> it's the run. And now we have his Dragonite, which is four times weak to ice because it's also a flying type. But Blizzard has to hit here because it's level 60 and it knows Elrage. Rage. Okay, I can take it. I can take it. The Ryan can take a hit like that. Okay, and come on. It should be dead. It should be dead. It is not dead. And it has a berry. I'm going to go for the full restore here. This should be actually probably, this probably was the play. Because it's going to stay in Outrage. And it's confused now. Okay, um, I think we got this. And we can take one, we can take another Outrage if need be. That's a Hyper Beam. I think we can take it. I think we can take it. I think we can take it. We didn't take it. Oh my god. Try this. Try something. It's super risky, but I'm gonna try it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Chew. I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon master. You got six thousand dollars. Money. I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Red. You are now the Pokemon League champion. Or you would have been. You have one more challenge left. There is one more trainer to face. His name is Blue. He beat the League 4 before you. He is the real Pokemon League champion. Next time, on Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, we defeat our rival in one last battle. See you guys then. <laughs>